and welcome to Not The Mama, a modded Fallout 4 playthrough in which I'm going to be using mods to make myself just a simple citizen of the Commonwealth, and we'll be playing on survival, and everything but one thing is going to be completely random. So the first thing we need to determine is whether we are going to be male or female. I'm going to roll a six-sided dice, odd we're male, even we're female. And there is a six. Hopefully that means we're going to be lucky. So let's swap over My to her. Big guy. Now, I happen to know that there are 15 face presets in total. So what we're going to do is divide those into three groups of fives. One and two will be the first group. Three and four will be the second group. And five and six will be the third group. And there is a three. So we will go one, two, three, four, five, and six. So we're in group six through ten. And we will be throwing a dice. So basically if I roll a one, I'll roll again. But other than that, it'll be two, three, four, five, six. And there we go. Hello. Let me get back here because I'm now doing this wrong. Why is why are you going the wrong way? Three, four, five. We were at six, and it went seven, eight. Okay, so now that we have our character, let's uh, let's select face. Let's go up to hair and hit E for style. And I'm just because there's so many hairstyles, I'm just gonna grab something that is different than the default character. Sure, why not? Every when, time I see that face, I when, fall in love with you all over again. Wendy the Welder, and we're going to change the hair color as well. We'll go with, like, just a simple brown. There we go. Nice, nice, simple, plain Jane kind of look. So, let's go back. Let's cancel. Come on, you're supposed to go back. Thank you um, for body... I figure if, if this is someone who's lived their entire life in the wasteland, they're going to be thin, but they're going to have some muscle because there's probably not going to be much fat on their body. So we'll go with that and accept it. And with that, we are done and we can get to the rest of this process. So even though uh, the rest of these things will be chose randomly by the, uh, by the mod itself, I'll show you guys what kind of things are possibilities and uh, it'll just make sure you, you know like what kind of pool we're drawing from. So you begin to notice that this isn't reality. Is it a dream or something from memory? This is only a dream I need to wake up. Because if this is a memory, it means we're back in the uh, uh, you know, actual storyline. And like I say, we're just going to be a citizen of the Commonwealth living our best life. So this is only a dream I need to wake up. What's the last thing you remember? I was in the Commonwealth and had stopped to rest. Okay. So, of course, we've got our special stats. Um, Eden Black. Sure. Why not? Okay. So, Eden Black. Um, I, I'm going to set the stats as I would if I was actually going to play the character as is, but um, we will actually be doing these random, there we go, so we're going to accept that, um, my unique traits, so these are a whole series of traits, some of them give benefits, but any benefit is met by a detriment, so for instance, trigger discipline, um, you fire 20% more slowly, but you're 20% more accurate. Um, broad shoulders uh, adds 25 to your carrying capacity, 15 in survival, but due to a high center of gravity, you're more likely to be staggered by incoming blows. It's things like that. Um, uh, then we've got what am I doing with my life? And these are all the different careers available vault enthusiast, survivalist, scavenger, hunter, raider, mechanic, gangster, trader, farmer, a drunk. A doctor, a scientist, mercenary, and there's just all kinds of them. 
Radiation Explorer, Initiative in the Brotherhood, Tourist in the Railroad, Escape Synth, Minuteman, Looking to Join the Church of Adam, I'm a Runaway Gunner Conscript, I'm an Ex-Forged Member, I'm a Chinese Agent, I'm a Wealthy Civilian, I mean there's just so, I'm an NCR Ranger, I'm an Enclave Remnant, so there's a, a grand total of 38 possible things that, that we could be. I'll just pick whatever. Um, and uh, where was I really? There's 38 locations that we can end up with. Everything from a basement shelter or a red rocket to um, the Glowing Sea, cathedrals, the Boylston Club, Bunker Hill, Good Neighbor, um, I was with a tough raider gang. I mean, there's, again, 38 different possibilities here. Um, we'll just say whatever. Uh, what do I have with me? This is the only thing that I'm going to set and not randomize. So I'm going to say plenty of gear. Everything else is going to be random. Um, how much do I know is what level are we? Um, but what we're going to do is say, okay, I'm ready to wake up. And then now we're going to take and we're going to set all of these to random. So our special stats, we're going to randomize them. Our traits, we're going to randomize them. It'll choose two traits out of 20 possible traits. Our class is going to be randomized. Our location is going to be randomized. Like I say, um, the amount of gear that we have that I'm selecting, just, just so we don't end up, you know, with absolutely nothing, I'd rather... Be prepared. In theory, if this person has lived their entire life in the Commonwealth and they've stopped to rest, they're gonna they're gonna have some gears, but where we don't know what level they're gonna be, so level is also gonna be randomized. So random special, random traits, random class, random location, random level, gear, plenty of gear. Let's do this. God only knows where we're going to end up. This could be so bad. I've always wanted to do this, but it's been so intimidating as to how bad the start could be that I've never done it. And I know it's taken almost eight minutes for us to get to this point, but I wanted to make sure you guys understood precisely what this is doing. The character is completely random. Their circumstances are completely random. The only thing that we've set for sure is that they have their full complement to gear. So hopefully we should have a weapon. Where am I? I am in an abandoned bus. Okay. So what we're going to do before we do anything else is we're going to open up the pit boy And we're going to first check our inventory. Excellent. We've got a machete. We've got a pipe auto pistol. And we've got a short pipe revolver rifle. So I'm not sure what class we ended up with. Ooh, but we did get level 15. That's awesome. For apparel, we've got an assault gas mask and cage armor. Okay. I guess I have no idea what class we've ended up being. We do have stim packs. We're going to favorite those to our equals. And uh, glow sighted hair trigger combat rifle. Oh, oh, I didn't even see that. Put that in four. All right. So what do we have for ammo then? We do have some food and some water with us. The water's dirty water, but at least it's water. We've got a few bobby pins. So, yeah, uh, 93 38 caliber rounds, 89 45 caliber rounds, and 67 shotgun shells. All right. Um, we are level 15, so let's go ahead and level up. Okay. All right, so we've got four strength, three perception, six endurance, five charisma, one intelligence, 
and uh, six agility, three luck. Well, we're going to have to put some points into an intelligence or we're not going to be able to do anything here. Going to put one into perception and then we'll put the rest into perks. So first thing, always sneak. We're going to and melee. Locksmith. And we can actually take a second level of locksmith. Uh, hacker. And we can take a second level of hacker. Blacksmithing. resistant I've got three left huh okay hold on I'm getting carried away let's be thoughtful about this non-automatic pistols that should help us with our rifle would give us 20% more damage uh, non-automatic rifles And automatic rifles. Let's let's do Lone Wanderer. That's thirty percent less damage and increased carry by one hundred. Lead belly to reduce the amount of radiation and stuff that we take from eating and drinking. I'm actually going to go Aqua Girl. So that if we have to enter the water, we're not going to have problems. And Kate. Oh, yeah. Okay, so here's our backpack mod. We're going to take that. And uh, there's a, a desired spawn rate. I'm going to go with 20%. Twenty percent chance of backpacks spawning. And I wonder if I'm a scavenger or a raider. Yeah, we're gonna blaze ceramo really fast with this thing if it's full auto. And then uh, let's so, okay, that is that is a real combat shotgun. Let's look at the map, see where we are. We are just outside of Concord. Ho, ho, ho. Praise the powers that be. We could, like I say, we could have ended up way down south in uh, the glowing sea. Make sure to keep an eye on it. And come see me if it doesn't get any better in a few days. Thanks, Doc. And we can save. Sleep for one hour, life and we're saved. Take care now. Excuse me. Ah, the Doc's the best, isn't she? Yeah. Something like that. Knowing that we have a doctor right here is very good. Not digging the rain. Oh, I'll Nine take that. Close-sighted pipe pistol. So, there must have been something went down here. 
I think we're going to circle around and make our way to the Red Rocket rather than getting involved right off the bat with Preston and everybody. Should be up around this way. We'll go to the Red Rocket and we'll get it set up as our Fortress of Solitude. Let's see, where's the water tower? Oh, okay, there's the church. Yeah, yeah, we got to go up this way. We'll get it set up as our Fortress of Solitude and then we'll go over and help out Preston and company to get our power armor. Pretty sure I'm going the right way. That should be. Yeah, there we go. There's the red rocket. I've got uh, mods that allow me to do more cleanup than is uh, normally available in vanilla. And we'll have to make sure and come back and do the cave once we've got our power armor because there's stuff in there to be had. All right. Red Rocket. Hello, Dogmeat. How are you, buddy? Hey, boy. What are you doing out here all by yourself? You lose your owner, buddy? Okay, then. Let's stick together. Now, he, of course, wants us to go help Preston and everybody, but that's... That's not the order of business right at the moment. All right. So we're going to come on in here. Let's grab this stuff off the shelf. And uh, close the door. Search the bench. Close the door. Search the bench. What have you been up to? Store all the junk. And we're going to see if there's anything over here. Pipe pistol, duct tape. We'll grab those. Nice. Like I say, we'll clean it up. Wow, this thing holds 32 rounds. What's up, buddy? Waiting on the mo. There they are. Where is he at, dog meat? There he is. Hell yeah. One now. Lunch. Hell yeah. Yes. Sweet. Come to Mama. All right. Like, I give a shit. Alright, so I've got a player commentary mod in, and we're going to shut that down right now. Uh, let's see. Junk. Miscellaneous.
Uh, is it under aid? No. Is it under apparel? Yes, there we go. Player comments toggle item. There may be a setting to make her not comment as much, but it'll make me absolutely nuts. So, And then uh, we've got NPC tra NPCs travel, which is also going to be available to us. Uh, as soon as it decides to load. But let's get to cleaning this place up. We're going to go around, pick up anything that can be picked up. And then we will get to cleaning it up. Um, I've also got a mod in that keeps dog meat from being able to open doors. Because it makes me absolutely nuts. It's bad enough having dog meat underfoot, let alone having dog meat opening every door you close. Yes, I know there's things in the other room. I'll get there, buddy. You are one pushy mutt. Two more money. A little bit of food, a cap stash. And uh, if we activate this computer, basically, we learn that there is a cave under the red rocket. I'm not going to bother to go through it. And in fact, I am going to start the cleanup. So we're just going to hold V until we enter into build mode. We have Sim Settlements 2. All three volumes of it, plus the extension installed. So we're going to have some extra information on the right. But now is the time to start cleaning all this crap up. It's going to give us materials to build with. I just got to be careful not to pick up the floor. Grab this. Uh, we're going to turn this into a nice place. Just get rid of all the junk. So nice having this mod because it allows us to get rid of all the trash.
and if there's anything stored inside of any of these things that we get rid of um, it will automatically move it into the workbench and there we go that's basically the interior clean cleaned up with uh, a little bit of storage available for us um, you can see I'm not able to select the rubble that's underneath the workbench here but that's okay because I've got a mod that allows me to move the workbench so I'm going to move this over here over here we're just going to move this closer to the wall I think it's sticking through the back. No, we're good. And then we're going to go to furniture and beds. And we're going to make a nice bed. And set it back here. That's going to allow us to sleep through the night. The uh, outside cleanup is a bit more complicated. There's a lot of crap out here. But what's nice is with the mods, um, we'll be able to clean up the dead mole rats, get rid of their the holes that they left. All these piles of trash, all of the vines, just all of the detritus. Now there is a mod that basically allows you to do this by pushing one button. But... I've had some issues with it in the past, so... There's, um... that stool... and this chair that are both in good shape. So we'll be taking those. All right, we're gonna pick up the chem bench. And I'm gonna bring it in and place it here. get the armor workstation and we're gonna would you get out of my way please we're gonna place it in here gonna take this table and put it in this corner Take the 
cooking station. Put it here. down here I did all right got to be careful or I'll remove the entire building here come on highlight it there we go as we're gonna get the last of the vines cleaned up. Sun's getting fairly low. All right, I need to pull out this and that. And by golly, I think that's everything that I care about right at this particular moment. Purify this water. We should have some animal parts. Lots of more rat chunks. No, 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 no. That's aluminum. Aluminum is too value to too valuable to be to be de <laughs> turning into cans at this point. All right. All right. So we're gonna get on in here, please. Get on in here. Close the door. And we're gonna sleep till the morning. And hopefully be a whole lot better off for it. We're gonna sleep 12 hours in a nice clean bed. 